Hi, I'm Emily, I'm a mom of two, and I am the stroller mom. Today, we're gonna to be cleaning my personal Nuna Pippa RX car seat. However, I will say these same guidelines can be followed for almost all of the Pippa car seats in the Nuna lineup. So a little background on this car seat. I have had this car seat for both of my girls. So it's been used heavily over two years. Um, I usually transition my babies into a convertible car seat around 14, 15 months. My first was very tall, so she went a lot sooner than my second. Um, but with proper maintenance and care, this car seat holds up really well. I mean, this has been heavily used for two years and it still almost looks as good as new, which is so nice. So I really appreciate about the new, how easy it is to clean. And I think after a few times, you will be a pro at it and you'll never need to watch this video again. So um, let's start by removing all of the inserts that are in the car seat. So you wanna start by removing the hood. There's a little piece of Velcro in the back here and it just threads through the straps. I have an older baby, so my, my um, shoulder straps are already at the highest setting, but if you have a new baby, they'll be at the lowest setting. And so it goes in the one above it um, and that's the hood insert, really easy to remove. And then the um, lower one, which you only use, I'm pretty sure it's up to 11 pounds, we can check here in a second. It just feeds through the crotch buckle. So you can just kind of pull and you can even do it with the, the crotch buckle pad on it and it comes right out. And yes, it can be used up to 11 pounds. So you're using this for a very short amount of time depending on how big your baby is. But both of the inserts can be easily washed with all the other materials from your car seat, which is great. So um, I'm gonna set those aside. Then I'm gonna go on ahead and remove the other inserts or the other covers. So I have the shoulder belt covers and they're just two snaps on them. And I will say my second baby was a happy spitter as they call it. And so I ended up washing these all the time. So I would just take these off and throw them in because they were always covered in spit up, which is kind of gross, but it was nice because you don't have to always wash like everything. It's nice when you have a new baby to wash everything before you bring your baby home, but especially in the early days, you are generally able to just wash the inserts or wash the, the covers. So the crotch cover is unique, and I love, as someone who has other Nuna, Pippa, or Nuna car seats, like the Nuna Rava, I love how the crotch cover is protected or um, stays on. It has like a little piece of like ribbon that feeds through the buckle. You just kind of have to pull, but it actually stays on. Like I've never had an issue with this thing coming off, and so you'll feed it that way, but you can kind of see that piece there. So then now that we have that, we're going to want to head and start removing the main cover. And so there are some plastic pieces underneath and they just kind of pop out. They like slide in right there. Start by removing those. And then you kind of work your way up. So there is the, the strap release right here and you just kind of stretch it. I have had this car seat for several years, so it's pretty easy now at this stage, but you might have to really tug and pull at it in order to get it up and then feed it through the buckle and you're going to see my car seat has a lot of snacks in it because we're in that stage of the <laughs> car seat um there's a little clip on both sides here i don't know if you can see that that comes off right by where they like hold the buckles so you pull that off and then at this stage i generally will flip the car seat around and you have to unthread the harnesses so let me show you how i would do that so you keep the hood up but you can see here, oh, do you hear the snacks? Yes, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, there are underneath the bars, which is super important. I'll show you that when we put it back together. But there's just like a little hook here. And so you just kind of feed the straps through on both sides. It's really easy. So right there, you can see the hook. So once you have that off, you can turn it back around and then just pull these through. And so the crotch buckle, you don't need to remove or do anything on the back, but for the straps, you will need to feed them through the holes here. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to the top, leave the hood on for the time being. There's Velcro in the back. Pull that up. And then similarly to the front or the bot, like the bottom, yeah, the bottom, <laughs> you'll just kind of pull this plastic piece out and then just kind of pull it around. You never want to remove the foam. Always leave the foam, all of that in place. And then the second hardest part next to the release is you have to kind of stretch it to get it around these release buttons on each side of where the bar is. And so you just kind of stretch. There actually is another hook here behind the hood. Oh, do you see all the snacks? 
Yes, I will show you how to, what, what I do there usually. Um, remove the snaps on both sides. And then there's, you'll see here, there's like a little metal hook and a plastic hook on each side of the um, bar. So you can remove those and then just kind of feed it around the button on both sides here. So there you go. And then the last part is, is you will need, I'm going to try and position so you can see it. You'll need to turn the chest buckle, so you'll feed both of the buckle straps, but this piece right here, you'll have to feed it through sideways to get it out. So just kind of tuck. I know this seems complicated, but like it does get easier. Just a lot of feeding. Partly why I made this video is when I first cleaned this car seat, it was like, wait, do I, should it be this hard or should it be easier? I don't know. Okay. So then do it on the other side. So the buckle goes in real easy. And then just turn the chest buckle sideways and feed it all the way through in the strap. And there you go, you have your cover. So you can put that in the pile of everything else. And then the last thing is I have only ever washed this hood one time, actually, when I first, maybe twice, maybe right before I brought both my babies home from the hospital. It really holds up. I mean, we've recently had some snacks in here, so there's a little bit, but I usually can just treat it with a cloth. It's like a damp cloth. I'll just wipe it. But if you wanted to clean it, it's really easy. There's two buttons on either side here, and you just kind of pull this out. You can see the plastic, and then it literally just feeds through. And then if you want the dream drape, or I think they call it the sky drape now, you can just unzipper this and open that, and that way it gets washed as well if that were to get dirty. And then you can throw it in there. All right, so now it's time to wash the materials. All of the materials or fabrics for the Nuna Pippa Car Seat are machine washable. Just do it on a delicate cycle um, with a mild detergent. So I use Molly Suds. I just got the Molly Suds new baby laundry detergent, which I love. So I will link that in the description below. But you can put these all, I generally wash them by themselves, but you can wash them with like towels or try, and try to avoid things with like zippers or anything like that. I know there is a zipper on here. Um, but I just throw them all in the wash wash them on cold, delicate, um, with a mild detergent, and then I air dry them on my drying rack, and I'll insert a photo of that. Um, I like to wash this car seat like earlier in the day and then try and plan to where I don't have to go anywhere until the next morning. So that way, I because all of the materials do need to air dry. So that way, I'm not putting my baby in a wet car seat. So if you can, try and plan around where you don't need it for at least like 12 hours. I think, um, or maybe a little more, depending on what part of the country you live in. I live in a place where it's very dry, so 12 hours is usually sufficient for me. All right, so here's the shell of my car seat. Um, mine is very dirty, <laughs> so with snacks, generally, I have found, like, if I had a blowout, I might just wipe it, but a lot of it goes in the fabrics for the most part, so that, washing that is usually sufficient, but let's say you have snacks or spit up on your, on your, um, on your straps or anything like that, this is kind of what I do. I really love a cordless vacuum. I love it for keeping my car clean, but especially car seats. And then once you get to the convertible and you have toddlers in the car, it's so nice. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and vacuum up all the crumbs that fell around my floor and in here. Um, and then I'll come back and kind of walk you through how I clean the straps and other parts. So once you have washed and dried your cover, you're ready to put your car seat back together. And the best way to do this is to start with the main cover. This first step's interchangeable. So you can either tuck the plastic pieces under first, or I often like to stretch this part around the release so that's kind of secure and then work around from there. And so you can just kind of tuck, they kind of clip in you see, you stretch it around and there's one on the each side and then also on the two on the bottom. Oh, here, I'm kind of clipping. So that's great. Then you're going to want to feed through the crotch buckle right there. And then at this point, it's probably best to do the main straps. And so this is the, I feel like the trickiest part of putting it back together. So what you will do is find where those holes are on the bottom right here and feed through the strap. And remember for the chest buckle, you're going to want to turn it sideways 
and feed it through that way. And then the buckle should slide in pretty easily. And then do, so now you have that here. I'm seeing some area where I forgot to vacuum, so good to know. Um, you probably won't have this unless you're cleaning this after you have like a one-year-old. Okay, and then you're gonna go on ahead and slide through the other side. There we go. The covers, you can kind of position them now to where it's like, okay, I know this isn't twisted on both sides here. So then what you're going to do is select whatever height um, is right for your baby. So if your baby's rear facing, I think they say that you want it a little bit behind their shoulders, not above. And so the little baby, an older baby, <laughs> A much older baby <laughs> just kind of decide there but for the purposes of this i'm actually cleaning it to put it away in storage and so i'm going to go ahead and reset it to the littlest setting so the lowest one on both sides kind of feed it through and again just take this opportunity to make sure all right is this twisted and it actually was so then you're going to tip your car seat over and you'll see you have, oh, well, I'll go back and get that one. Um, the most important part of this is making sure it's under the two metal bars. So both the one that connects on the bottom to the release and the one on top are both under the bars here. You're just going to slide it in and it will kind of catch on the metal hooks. So I have that side done. And then when I turned it, of course, one side fell out. So we'll refeed that through. There we go. And same thing, go under the metal bar and then around right there, which is good. So, so now you're good. <laughs> go on ahead and start working up. So you can start by putting this clip here and then positioning through those little release buttons and stretching it around there on both sides. And then there's another metal hook that goes under there right by where the canopy or hood will go. And then this part just kind of stretches around. And then I like to start on the other side. So again, putting that plastic clip here, stretching it around that release. There we go, okay. And then there's one more plastic piece here that kind of tucks in at the top. So stretch it. And then tuck that in. There's like a little gap in the plastic that you'll feel. All righty. There you go. All right. So now you have the main cover on. At this point, you can go on ahead and, in, and put on the infant inserts, which are really easy. And they say the head strap cannot go through the same slots as the harness. So always do the one above it. So feeding that through. And then it just clips right there on the Velcro. You have that all set to go. And then the infant insert, all you have to do for this is just feed it through the crotch buckle right here, which I will say is easier, although not impossible, when you don't have the cover for the crotch buckle on. I love the little buckle holders for this car seat. It's just so easy. I know the newer ones, they're doing our magnetic, which is even cooler, but there you go. So now you have the infant insert in, and then you will wanna do the two shoulder strap covers and the crotch buckle. So the crotch buckle goes through here, and then you're gonna feed the little ribbon through the bottom below the buckle. Now the last step is the canopy. So it's really easy. What I would do is start off by re-tucking in the Dream or Sky Drape. I still need to really look up on why they changed the name. It was the Dream Drape, but they recently changed it to the Sky Drape. So I'm wondering why. If you know why, comment below. I would love to know. <laughs> but we need to look that up. But when I was doing research for this to make sure that the cleaning instructions were consistent across, that's what I was seeing. Okay, so now go on ahead and tuck that in. You can zipper it. And then you will feed through, let me just find where it is. Okay, so feed through on the canopy, that plastic piece that went around. There you go. And it should pop in really easily here. 
on both sides. There we go. There we go. And then there's a snap on both sides as well. So just snap that to kind of secure it to the main frame of the car seat on this side too. And then on the very back, you can kind of pull it forward. So there's two Velcro dots here, all they can see, and then they just kind of clip on to keep it there. And that is how you clean your Nuna Pippa car seat. <laughs> if you have any questions, don't, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, and comment below on other videos that you would like to see. Thanks for watching.